Three. So Durham election 2010, Doug Anderson, Garth Riley here uh, taking uh, some opinions from Dave Gilbert and Maurice Brenner and Doug Hawkins. We went to talking about official plans. Um, most public talk about uh, or the politicians say there's an official plan. Um, does this thing change like uh, like socks, or do we actually can we project our growth for the next 20, 30 years and understand that the development that they're doing today isn't the miraculous achievement of the current council, but it was actually bequeathed upon them by the other dudes? Garth, there's been more OPA changes than you and I could ever change our socks, and the public try and rely on the official plans and the community plans and the district plans and they over and over again they come to a council and they say but 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 and then suddenly they say oh no no the developer the landowner has the right to make an application to change and that's where that false sense of security happens for the public mm -hmm. and it's it's unfortunate because that is what's causing the problem a lot of time goes into official plans yeah. and community plans we spend a lot of money doing that so let's just talk about this for a moment now let's say you get elected you know, I mean, that's why you're in this game, not to lose it, to win it. You know, regional council, a local council, mayor, running for candidate, uh, what can be done? Or do you think that, I mean, are you going to take this on or are you just going to basically go, eh, oh, whatever? For me personally, the first thing I want to start picking up is the whole problem with the Ontario Municipal Board. The province of Ontario promised to do an overhaul. It's not user yeah, friendly. But, you, I, I, but, that, but that's not something you can do. Anything no, about. it's not. No, but right. except a coalition of, of, I think, of elected officials and, and mayors from different communities can, in fact, begin. Come on, there's an election coming up provincially in 2011. And there's some unfulfilled commitments in terms of the OMB. And you've got to remember, if we don't wrestle the Planning Act and the, that OMB process back to the public, that is that tool that is scaring the hell out of the public. Well, okay, let's talk about it. So let's, let's go to you people. I mean, both you guys, you know, Dave, Doug. Uh, what do you think? I mean, this is a major issue. We have a plan. It seems like nobody holds the damn plan. Who wants to take it, Dave? Well, I think what uh, Maurice mentioned, uh, getting together with other municipalities, certainly gives you more clout when you're going to, to the province to change the OMB and the way it works. And, and if they're going to change plans uh, that you know, are supposedly there to control development, control urban sprawl, and they're going to change them uh, just on a whim, uh, that's unacceptable. And the public, as you mentioned, uh, needs to know these things, and they have to get involved. But how do they get involved? Uh, I, I, they're I, the little guy. It, it's, they don't have the power. Actually, I should probably clarify, there's two things, two, two subjects being dealt with here. One's the Ontario Municipal Board, and the other is the official plan. Now, theoretically, things are supposed to stay, stay with the official plan, but that is a document that municipalities have and which everything is basically to adhere to. Uh, but any, any development can be appealed to the Ontario Municipal Board. Doug, do you want to get into but, that? Sorry, I, but I've noticed that it doesn't seem like there's a lively debate when the official plan, plan is being challenged and it's clearly like the land use, the one, the land, the one where they're. Let's they're talk about Seton, Garth. Well, the biggest issue in Durham Region right now. I mean, it affects all of us. Seton will affect every one of our municipalities. You and the Oshawa, it's gonna, it's gonna be a big one. And the, quite frankly, was some of the development uh, uh, um, uh, consultations was several hundred thousand dollars were paid for by the developer. Worse than that, Garth. Uh, because the developers didn't want to wait for a community plan, I now understand that they have now filed with the Ontario Municipal Board and said, you know what, screw the community, screw the public input, we're going right to the OMB. But okay, so the, the bigger, greater question here is, I'm going to throw it out here. So, you know, you guys are Samson and that's Goliath and it's huge. It's absolutely huge. My question is, what are you going to do about it? You have, you're, you're elected, what are you going to do? If, you, if this is a big deal, what can we expect from you? I think there's two uh, issues that come to my mind that flow out of all this. One would be the threat to farmland. It's a problem at Seton, as, as Councillor Brennan has mentioned. No, no not a councillor. I, I don't, wanna, don't call me a councillor. <laughs> I'm mayor, a citizen as, running as for mayor. As Mayor Brenner. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, 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 uh, Seton is a perfect example. Yeah. But we see this all throughout Durham Region. Yeah. Uh, Durham Region, by the way, eight municipalities. Four of them are really rural or have been. The others are urban in nature, but even my municipality, Oshawa, has a large uh, rural farm component. I think we have to be advocates for that. We have to be concerned about that. Will you be one? Uh, and I will be. I will stand up for the preservation of farmland. Absolutely. It's a high priority for me. It also means standing up for farmers, for the rights of farmers and, a, and an economy that allows them to thrive. So that would be one thing. The other thing that comes to my mind from your question is this, is that we as a region have obligations uh, with respect to the Ontario Greenbelt legislation. And we've been accused, and I think rightly so, of falling short in meeting our obligations. I think certainly I will be an advocate for that. I believe in the Greenbelt 
legislation. I think it makes a better Ontario and a better Durham region, and you can count on me to be an advocate for that. Uh, that, that, that leads to another question that I have. Um, over the last, say, what, 20 years, etc., the, the province has been playing a bigger and bigger role in municipal affairs. They're, re they're running the transportation system now. They're running, they're running the, uh, the planning system through the Ontario Municipal Board. They're putting in the places to grow thing, which is basically telling, telling all the municipalities to, to get on the ball and intensify their developments. Is this a real? Is this what should be happening, or do you think this is an unfair intrusion on the part of the part of the to the provincial government, or, 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 or do you think it's something that basically is happening? Well, let's look at Durham region for a minute, job. okay? Look at Durham, if if, if I can, for a right. second. Yeah. And the province of Ontario was pretty clear as it related to the recent uh, attempt by Durham region on the official plan to change some of the urban boundaries and population densities outside the urban boundary of Pickering. Mm -hmm. The region of Durham has gone against the province of Ontario's recommendation, against the directives, and want to urbanize Greenwood, which is northeast Pickering, and put 33,000 people. Mm -hmm. The city of Pickering has supported Durham region. So, you know what? I Initially, when I was a councillor, I used to say, my God, Big Brother is all over me. But you know what? Thank God Big Brother is trying to put their foot down because, you know what, there wouldn't be any farmland left. We don't have any infrastructure to move the people. In parts of the United States, they build the, they build the roads, they build the infrastructure, and then they put the housing in. We've got it all wrong here, and uh, Canada-wide. Uh, Dave, what are your thoughts on these issues that have been coming forward? I mean, I, I can't expect everybody to know all the issues. But from your gut reaction, what do you think? Have we really paid enough attention to this? Uh, which part are you talking about? Well, the talking urbanization about the or plan, talking the about, official plan? I'm uh, talking about uh, urbanization. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want Oshawa to look like Mississauga, and I don't think Doug does either. Uh, Mississauga, you know, for all my friends that live there, I hate going there. It's, it's just urban sprawl at its worst. And, uh, you know, when the 407 finally goes through in North Oshawa, uh, north of Winfield's farm, uh, the official plan in Oshawa has some industrial uh, ribbon around that, but how far north will it go if the OMB gets involved and if more developers get involved and want it to push north because we have Columbus that's very unhappy right now. They don't want to see their little community disturbed. They want it to stay uh, relatively the same with farmland around it. And it, it depends what the people want. Do the people of Oshawa want to see their city go that far north? Uh, I don't think they do from the people I'm talking to, uh, but if we're having problems with the province, the province though has uh, targeted Oshawa for intensification downtown, right. which is a good thing, of course, because you're going to build up and not out. And maybe that will help Oshawa stay more of a contained city. Oshawa has a pretty good identity the way it is now. It's one of the few cities in the GTA that isn't sprawled. Uh, Pickering really doesn't have a downtown. Whitby does. It's a small downtown. Ajax doesn't really have a downtown. Oshawa does. I'm not beating up on Oshawa, but quite frankly, the reason is, is Oshawa, my opinion, is when it comes to Oshawa, the branding of Oshawa has been the issue. And people, exactly. And people exactly. don't want to say they're coming from Oshawa. Yeah. What they want to do, I mean, North Oshawa has certainly revitalized it, and there's a whole branding problem well, that's the downtown, happened in your town. Well, the downtown is being revitalized with the UIT. Uh, right. You see, I mean, in the last new couple of weeks, opening up down new there. TV station opening up. There are a lot of things, good things happening downtown the General Motors Center, the courthouse, a lot of good things happening there and I think that should be Oshawa's focus is get more people living around the downtown area to revitalize that uh, but you need services there too. There are no real supermarkets around the downtown but I don't want to see Oshawa go past the 407 and right now we're not seeing that uh, and Mar Maurice can tell us that about uh, you're not seeing a lot of industrialization around the 407 yet around Brock and Pickering or it, it's still at Markham it's not really seems and, and to be going that way. And that's what the, what the public are saying they could live and handle with some clean industry manufacturing along that 407 corridor. They can't accept and are not prepared to accept urban sprawl that pushes the urban envelope into the Greenbelt well, areas. The fact of the matter They're is not that going to accept that. Doug, from a financial point of view, um, you know, building houses is a horrible tax solution. It, it can be. It can be. It, and it's never made money. Um, I've, I've personally experienced uh, this kind of thing several times. Uh, even in the last 25 years. And the thought is always, bring in more houses and you'll have more tax revenues. And that may be true, but you also get a whole lot more expenses. And so it's, it's not a winning uh, proposition from a financial point of view. Right. I, I was interested in Doug's comment about how the, the provincial government can sometimes be seen as being heavy handed. Well, let's come back and talk about that, about how the provincial government tries to bully everybody around. And quite frankly, maybe you guys don't even have any power, but you think you do. Click your heels twice and say there's no place like home. Be right back with more of this debate or enlightened conversation. Stay